Hey guys, today you're gonna explore with us a region called L'Ardèche. Come on, let's go. So we are in Jojac, which is a charming village located in the Ardèche department in the Auvergne-Rhône-Alpes region of southern France. So it's known for its rich history and has several unique features I can't wait to show you. Places to explore, different places you may want to visit and definitely some interesting things you're going to want to taste. So let me share some historical and unique aspects of Jojac. The first thing I want to talk about are the volcanic origins. Jojac and I would say just central Ardèche is situated at the foot of an ancient volcanic crater, which is part of a larger volcanic field of the Mont d'Ardèche. So the field is surrounded by different lava flows that have shaped the landscape over time. And the most famous of these flows is called the Coulée de Lave de Jojac. And it has a spectacular lava flow that can still be seen today and that forms the village's natural surroundings. Other historical places you may want to visit may be the castle, the Chateau de Castrovieille, which is a notable landmark in Jojac. So this castle dates from the 12th century, but it's been modified over centuries and reflects different and a variety really of architectural styles. Another one is the bridge. So it's the Pont de Châtelas, and it's an old stone bridge that spans the Lignon River. So it's really beautiful as you may see. And it also is an example of medieval engineering. The village square, which is known as La Place du Champ de Mars, is a central and historic spot in Jojac. It's surrounded by traditional stone homes and it hosts a weekly market. And there's so much going on in the village with festivals and gatherings and basically just a vibrant village life. The Church of Saint Bonnet is a significant religious and historical monument as well. And it dates again back also from the 12th century. It's gone through different restorations, but it's known for its distinguished bell tower. So I mentioned a little bit the festivals, but Jojac is really known for its lively cultural scene and especially its festivals. And some of the different traditions would be like Fête de la Châtaigne, which is a chestnut festival. And there's many other cultural heritages that I'll talk about in a little bit. But it is a village and I'll just say Ardèche in general, there's so much to do. Outside of village activities and festivals, there are so many natural beauty and hiking trails. So there's just numerous hiking trails and it, all the landscapes are pretty diverse. So you might go through forests, rivers, volcanic landscapes, as I mentioned before, and some of these views really are outstanding, just stunning. And as you may know, um, there is a strong connection to the Cévennes. So Jojac lies on the edge of the Cévennes National Park. So that means that it shares a rich biodiversity and cultural history of the Cévennes. And while I could go on and on about all the things that you can do, everything that you can see in different places you can explore, I have to talk about the tastes. So in Ardèche, they are known for chestnuts. So there are a lot of things that evolve or revolve, should I say, around chestnuts. One specific thing is a chestnut liqueur or chestnut syrup. They have crème de marron, which is like a chestnut spread, so yummy. And even if you get ice cream, a lot of things are gonna be based over chestnuts. They're also known for mushrooms and they have specialty when it's charcuterie or different cheeses, they have their own specialties from the region. So we had a fabulous time with our friends. We can't wait to go again. And we hope you enjoyed the tour as well.